Hey guys, what's up? This is Shade, and before I say anything else, I want to say that this video that you're watching right now is not a guide video. There's a, um, a written guide on my website that fully explains everything I'm doing in this video. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating in real time uh, with live commentary the fastest, cheapest, most efficient way I know of to level up from 1 to 15 by yourself in Final Fantasy XIV. Um, the video is long because I'm doing this all in real time. I'm not going to be cutting anything out of the actual leveling process. So again, um, the written guide fully explains everything. And uh, that's also where you'll find the custom maps I use in this video. Um, and this video you're watching now is basically just a live demonstration of that guide. Okay, with all of that out of the way, um, what is this video? Um, I'm going to be leveling up this new character from 1 to 15 on Rogue. I'm not going to be doing any class quests or main story quests at all in this video. Um, from level 1 to 10, I'm only going to be doing the rank 1 hunting log. And I'm actually going to be using a special optimized version of the hunting log that you can find on my website. Um, and I'm also going to be doing any fates if they just happen to be nearby. And then from level 10 to 15, I'm only going to be doing leaves and any nearby fates. And to help out with the leveling process a little bit, I have a few different sources of experience boosts that I will be utilizing. Um, up in the top right corner, you'll find a link to the experience bonus guide video that I made a long time ago. But I have on uh, the friendship circlet, the brand new ring, and uh, an aetherite earring for a total of 80% bonus experience. I also have um, this free company buff right here active, which gives you an extra 10% bonus experience, I believe. And I also have um, an armory bonus because I do have another character that's higher level than what I'm leveling up right now. So that I believe provides an extra 100% bonus experience. So this is all going to go by pretty quick. Oh, and also before I started recording, um, I went ahead and drained all of my rested experience. And to make this whole process much, much faster and easier, I also have um, my Chocobo mount unlocked, which you can unlock at level 20. Um, let me see, where is it? Travel, I believe, mount speed. So these are, um, my mount speed is only at the first level here. I only have one star in all of the maps. And I also went ahead and unlocked the Chocobo companion, which allows you to actually fight alongside your Chocobo. Um, this, I would say, is not as necessary as actually just being able to ride on your chocobo as a mount, um, but it does help quite a bit. And I have not actually leveled it up. It's still rank one. I'm actually going ahead and I'm going to go ahead and use this. Uh, I'm going to level up healer to level one right now. And while I have my chocobo summoned and it's fighting alongside me, um, I'm only going to have it in free stance. You can like order it to like tank for you or heal for you or DPS for you, but I'm not going to be doing that just to keep it simple. I'm just going to leave it in the default free stance. And on this character, I also do have flying unlocked, but I'm not actually going to be using it because you actually unlock flying pretty late into the game. So I figure pretty much everyone is going to want to level up other classes before they get to that point, probably a long time before they get to that point. So I'm not going to fly. OK, so as you can see up at the top of the screen here, I am a level one rogue with zero experience gained. I am in Limsa Lominsa right next to the main Aetherite right now. So this is pretty much the state that you would be in if you've just unlocked the rogue class. Um, I also didn't buy any gear ahead of time for Rogue, and I only have 10,000 gil. Which is, I think, about how much you would have if you've already leveled up one character to about 30-ish. Alright, and with all of that out of the way, let's get started. So, the first thing that we're going to do is, with our 10,000 gil, we are going to go ahead and start buying a few things. The first thing that we're going to buy is a little bit of gear. So we're going to come here to the Battlecraft supplier. Talk to him. We're a rogue, so that's a Disciple of War. Click on this. We're going to buy a level 10 gear set. 
So you're pretty much fine with the starting gear up until about that point. Let's go ahead and look for... Okay, so we're a Disciple of War. Uh, let's go ahead and buy this. We have our armor. Our chest piece out of the way. Let's see, level 10 gloves. Do we have level 10 gloves? No, we don't. We can buy these level 11 gloves, but I don't want to do that. I want to make sure that I have better equipment beef, or at level 10 at the latest. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is buy this level 8... Uh, Disciple of War Glove. Okay, let's go back to level 10 here. Okay, so we've got our main armor, we've got our body armor, we've got our glove, and let's see. There is no level 10 belt. Disciple of War Pants. Go ahead and buy these. And shoes, let's see. Disciple of War level 10 shoes. We're going to buy these. Okay. So we didn't buy a belt. Let me go ahead and see, is there a lower level? Yes, there is a level eight belt. So let's go ahead and get this for a little bit of extra defense. Okay. And that's all the uh, armor that I'm going to need. So that was a little over a thousand gil that we just spent. We're going to head over to another vendor here and we are going to buy one weapon. Battlecraft supplier over here. And he sells Disciple of War Arms. Click on this. We're going to buy a level 10 dagger right here. Go ahead and buy this. Okay. So that takes care of all of the gear that we're going to need. Um, the next thing that we're going to buy, let's see, where are you? Let's go ahead and buy some food and some potions. Some cheap food. So the, the food actually is not necessary at all. Um, as a matter, like the, the, you do get stat boosts from food, but it is so negligibly tiny that it's really not at all necessary. I'm gonna go ahead and buy um, I'm going to go ahead and buy two boiled eggs just for this little tiny insignificant 3% experience bonus that it gives us. And I'm buying two of them because each one lasts for 30 minutes and this whole process shouldn't take more than an hour. I'm going to buy actually one more because it might. I hope it won't. I've only actually tested this with Archer. I haven't done this with, um, with Rogue. All right, so we got the food out of the way. We're going to come over here to the apothecary and we are going to need some potions here. So you can get potions or you can get high potions. Um, I'm going to go ahead with just the standard regular old potions. These heal like about a third of your HP up to 160 points. So pretty much... If you've got, this is good up until your HP reaches like 450. And I, th I think that's, I think this is fine. I think regular old potions are okay. Actually, before you do buy these, I hate mentioning, um, I hate recommending people to go to the market board because every server has, you know, a different economy and, and um, prices fluctuate so much. But what you should do is run over here to the market board, type in, potion because a lot of the time you will find that potions are ridiculously cheap there are some very nice people who craft a lot of potions and they sell them for literally one gill each so might be different in your server might not be um, but if you can buy high quality look for this little icon right here if you can buy high quality potions for super cheap um, I would suggest that you do so yeah 70 70 gill for yeah, this is this is all ridiculously cheap. You can also check out high potions too. I wouldn't recommend getting anything more than that. Um, but yeah, be sure to check out the market board. I'm not going to buy them from the market board because I'm cool like that. So we're going to go ahead and buy... I'm going to go ahead and buy like 60 potions just to be safe. I don't think I'm going to need that many. I really, really don't. But like I said, I have only tested this on Archer 
And um, spoiler alert, you take a lot less damage as an archer than you do as a melee DPS, which I am, because archers are able to kite enemies around and avoid a lot of damage. So I've got all the potions and food I need. Next is going to be um, some Geisol, Geis, Geisol, Geisol, Geisol greens. So we're going to come over here to this guy and go to purchase items. And we're going to buy some Geisol greens. This actually allows us to um, summon our chocobo friend. I'm actually going to buy. I'm going to buy. I'm going to buy six of these. Okay. And again, just like with food, these actually last for 30 minutes. But if your chocobo happens to die, then um, you can actually just use another one of these to resummon it. So I bought extra just in case it dies. I don't think it will, but. Better safe than sorry. Okay, so um, that's everything that I have to buy, I think. And that only took about 3,500 gil. So not bad at all. And this is all we need to get to level 15. Okay, so now that it's not the absolute middle of the night, let's continue with the video. So the first thing I want to do is open up my inventory and put all of this stuff into my armory chest. So level 10, level 10, level 8. Okay, so I've got two pieces of gear at level 8 and the rest is level 10. I'm going to right click on this stuff, place an armory chest. Okay, that's all done. And also I want to put, um, I want to put my potions on a button that's easy to reach. And also what you want to do is put sprint on a button that's very easy to reach and also this one emote this beckon emote and the way you find it is um you just go to where is it social and then go to emotes and it's going to be in the general tab right here scroll all the way to the bottom and beckon is right here so you're going to want to put this on a button that is also easy to reach and you'll see why later once we get to um leaves Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and um, let's go ahead and use our first egg. And as you can see, it lasts for 30 minutes. We can actually use another one and it'll last the full hour. So we shouldn't have to use another one in this video, hopefully. Okay, so um, for Rogue, where you want to go is you just go to this main Aether right here. Go to Aethernet and we're going to go to the Tempest Gate in middle La Nosea here. And that takes us right outside of town. And the first thing that we're going to want to do is summon our Chocobo, which is already summoned. Let me unsummon you. <laughs> Hang on a second. Okay, so the way you summon your Chocobo is you literally just use one of these Geisal Greens. I'm not going to, you can actually use another one to extend this to an hour. Um, you know what, why not? Let's do it. So as you can see, 59 minutes and 50 seconds. All right, and with all of that done, we are ready to finally start leveling up. I have my um, my uh, optimized hunting log rank one here, so we're just gonna go through that really quick. All right, first thing is wharf rats right here. And as you can see, they're right in front of us, which is why I came over here through the, uh, what is it, the Tempest Gate? Yeah. So, actually, let me go ahead and open up the hunting log. There's our first level up. Move shade shift over here, over here. Okay, so we're done with wharf rats. The next thing we need to kill are Aurelias, and those are down here. And actually, look, there's a fate right here, so it's right in our path, so we're gonna go ahead and do it. Get some experience. And we just have to kill a bunch of these uh, cane toads. Also, at low levels, um, one thing you kind of want to avoid is fighting multiple enemies at the same time. Um, because you die pretty easily at low levels. So I'm going to try to avoid that as much as I can. So yeah, doing these fates really gets you a lot of experience. 
And all I'm doing is looking for enemies with this little purple icon here. And just killing those. And my chocobo is helping me out a little bit. These are running out here, so I don't want too many of them to see me. So I'm trying to avoid aggroing all of them. And also I'm, I'm avoiding like hitting extra enemies here. I'm almost done with this fate. And I've unlocked my first combo. And let's kill you. So with this one fate, this already brought me up to level four. All right, this should be the last one I have to kill. And almost level five. All right, and here are Aurelias. Let's go ahead and kill uh, three of these. And there we go, level five. All right. One more. And we are done with Aurelia's. Next on the list are wild dodos, and those are up here in the cedar wood, right here. So as you can see, um, the list that I'm going off of um, to complete my hunting log does not match up with um, the in-game list. And we, that's because the in-game list is not really optimized too well. Um, I have everything ordered so that basically I can just follow one path and kill everything. Okay, so we're done with Wild Dodo. So next what we want to do are fight some Galagos. And those are... Oh, and here's some tiny Mandragoras. Oh crap, I didn't realize those were actually here. I'm going to have to update my list a little bit. Those were actually later down my list, but it's actually kind of good that I'm fighting these now. Because Galagos, I think, are level 8. Okay, cool. So, tiny Mandragoras are done. So, as you can see, those are way down here. And Galagos, those are right here. And those should be at... Galagos are... Right here. These are level 8. Go ahead and kill some of these. So the goal, um, the goal with the first rank of the hunting log is by the time you finish uh, rank one to be um, level 10 as, or as close to level 10 as possible. Did my chocobo level up yet? I don't know. It just gave me a Choco regen right there, which is healing a whole one HP like every second or so, which is so, so negligible. But as as your Chocobo levels up, um, it gets to be better at actually helping you out. Okay, so Galago is done. So next on my list are Cave Bats. And wouldn't you know it, they are right here. One more. And we are done with cave bats. Get on our chocobo, let's get the hell out of here. So we're actually done with this map, and look at that. We are in the next map already. So the first thing that we need to kill here are lost lambs, and those are right in front of us. I'm going to go ahead and kill these three right here. Yeah, like I said, um, I took the time to actually, like, find all of these enemies myself. Um, 
the hunting log, like there's data on the hunting log already online, you know, on like a bunch of different websites. Oh, I killed an extra one, sorry. Um, but I went and found all these myself because a lot of these enemies are in multiple locations, like these wharf rats. And um, if you just go by what's in the hunting log in game, then it's it kind of has you moving from like one map to one, like you're moving back and forth between like two or three maps, like way more than you really have to. All right, so after Lost Lambs, we're gonna kill some of these, I think, Pugils? Puggles? Pugils? Puggles? <laughs> Don't kill Puggles. All right, so we're done with those. Only two? Okay, next are Goblin Fishers, or one Goblin Fisher, right here. Okay, so we are level level seven. Hmm. Okay. So actually, on my list, I had tiny mandragoras next. Oh, and there's a fate. Awesome, awesome. That's that was very lucky, actually. Uh, what? Somebody? What? What? Okay. I walk into I walked into a fate that was like almost complete. So, um, the next, e yeah, the next um. The next thing I have to kill is actually level nine. You know what? I can handle that. But they're all in a group right here. And that's a little dangerous. There's a fate right in front of me, but it's a level nine fate and I'm only level seven. So this is not a great situation to be in, but let's let's see how, how tough it's going to be to finish this fate that I'm under leveled for. So for this one, it says crates of freshly picked oranges are waiting to be delivered to blah, blah, blah. Uh, drive back the vermin until the chocobo care of. Okay, so just defend the crates. Just kill a bunch of these wharf rats, I guess. So whenever you're doing fates, always just look for enemies or things with this little purple icon. Okay, this is actually super easy, even though I'm under leveled. <clears throat> but again, um, I am losing some HP, not a whole lot. Um, so if I were killing, if I were fighting like three of these at the same time, then it would be kind of dangerous. I'd be taking a lot more damage than I should be. So I'm going to go ahead and use Shade Shift, actually. Why not? Give myself a little bit of a shield. So as you can see, I'm taking zero damage because Shade Shift... For rogues gives you a little bit of a shield and there it goes the shield just broke and I actually got almost to level 8 without using a single potion I'm gonna choke about finish off that guy all right yeah we're actually doing pretty good and we're actually getting a nice little chunk of experience for uh, each one of these wharf rats that we kill so that's the that's the upside to killing enemies that are higher level than you. You get more experience. And as you can see here, I'm getting plus 269% experience. So those are all of the experience bonuses that I talked about earlier. They add up. They help so so much. Already level eight. And now that I'm level eight, I can equip some of my better gear. And I think maybe one more should do it. One or two. Oh, what the heck? What? Okay. Oh, I think that was it actually. Nice little chunk of experience. Okay, now that we're level eight, it's much safer for us to take on these dudes so we need to kill need to kill where are you one grounded raider and one grounded pirate and they're both right here in this area uh the ground there's a grounded pirate way over here that i want to target because he's kind of farther away from everyone else so oh i got seen by two other dudes okay let's go to new shade shift so as soon as this one is dead, I'm going to run my 
You know what? Actually, I'm not taking a whole lot. Of oh, my chocobos. Another good thing about having a chocobo companion, I'm going to save him, is um, they take a little bit of the aggro off of you. So, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. All right, my chocobo is going to die. That's fine. I save him. I can save him. Okay, cool. I hope no other pirates see me. No! Okay. <laughs> it has 5 HP left. Oh my god. Let me use this. So I still haven't used a single potion. And I haven't equipped my better gear yet. Okay. We survived. <laughs> Alright. Um, oh, there's another fate. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. I'm getting super lucky. Okay, let's go ahead and equip our leather mitts and leather belt. A little extra defense. And let's go ahead and take out this dude. So these enemies right here, um, you'll notice next to their names, they have like a reddish, kind of yellowish icon. Anytime you see a red icon next to an enemy's name like that, it means that they are, um, they are hostile. Like if they see you, they'll start attacking you. Okay, I'm gonna start having to use potions, I think. So enemies that don't have a red icon next to their name, they're um, they're passive. So if they see you, they won't start it. They won't start attacking you until you start attacking them. Uh, I need to turn. I'm gonna get this boss over. I'm gonna do a little bit of tanking. My choke boss doesn't get killed. And one really nice thing about these low level potions, by the way, as you're about to see, is that they have a really, really um, short cooldown period. So every 25 seconds, I'm able to, ah, every 25 seconds, I'm able to heal myself. So um, only regular potions and high potions, I believe, have that really short cooldown time. So in another five seconds, I'll be able to use it again. And I don't even have to. Is almost dead. So leveling up um, using my method, um, you having like a few fates spawn near you does definitely help speed things up. Um, like I said, the the main goal is to oh god, the main goal is to hit level ten. Um, by the time you're finished with your hunting log. And I think, I hope I'm, uh, I don't know, maybe not actually. I might have to do another couple fates here actually. Okay, I have one more thing to kill, Megalo Crabs, and they're actually a bit up north. But there's what looks like a pretty easy fate to do here. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Not too far from me. So, when I what's the reason that you want to complete the entire um, rank one of the hunting log is because um, each time you complete each time you complete one of these entries here, you get a pretty nice little chunk of experience. But what's really nice is that once you complete the entire rank, then you get another big chunk of experience. Uh oh. Oh, these are level 5. I'm fine. I don't have to worry about these. I was really expecting to be taking a lot more damage because I'm a rogue. Like I said, I only really tested this out with Ranger, which is why actually my Ranger, or my Archer, my Ranger, the game am I playing? My Archer is level um, 16. So this actually isn't the first time I've uh, recorded this video, actually. Um... Originally, this guide was going to be, um, I was going to recommend you just do your hunting log to get to level 15, but what I learned actually is that the hunting log is great from 1 to 10, but once you, the, from 10 to 15, it is so slow. Has my chocobo leveled up yet? I don't know. It has. Okay, it has. I can go ahead and, uh, 
level up its attacker. It's got an extra attack now. Okay, I want to keep my chocobo from dying, so I'm going to go ahead and target these enemies that are targeting my chocobo. And I'm going to do a little tanking. Teamwork. These might be the last three. <clears throat> yep, there we go. Okay, and ah, stay away from me. Go, go, up. Okay, we got to get out of combat before we can get on our mount, which is kind of annoying. And I'm waiting for this to disappear. There we go. All right, let's go. Let's go ahead and complete our uh, hunting log, and that's going to definitely be enough for us to hit uh, level 10. All down here. And the last thing that we have to kill are our uh, mega low crabs, and I have to kill three of these. So these three look good. Alright, and as soon as this thing dies, I'm going to get a big chunk of experience. Almost halfway through level 10. Okay, so now we are... Ah! <laughs> okay, now we're done with uh, rank 1 of the hunting log. Uh, I don't need this ability. Um, we're done with rank 1. So we immediately unlock rank... We're done with rank 1 and we're level 10, so we get access to rank 2. And... Um, as luck would have it, an enemy, a rank 2 enemy was right in front of my face. Now that we're level 10, we can equip our better gear that we bought. So, we are fully geared up, and there's a fate right in front of me too, a level 12 fate. Wow, this is really good luck. This is really, really good luck. Um, so yeah, fates spawn, they do spawn randomly. Um, so if you do happen to find yourself right next to one, you should definitely do them. And let me go ahead and complete this bit of the hunting log. I have six and a half minutes left to finish this fate. That should be plenty of time. One thing you also want to do, this is not a tanking guide, but if you are tanking enemies, um, one thing that you want to do, you see how my chocobo is going to get hit by that attack just now? You want to turn enemies away from the rest of your party. If you are um, the person who has aggro, if you are the tank of the group, always face enemies away from the rest of your party. Um, it's easy enough for nimble classes like rogue and archer to... Um, to avoid attacks like this, but for casters who have to stand in one spot and, you know, cast their attacks and, and stuff like healers and mages, um, not so much. And you don't really want your healer to have to stop healing so that they can avoid attacks. That's a good way to get you and the rest of the party killed. By the way, um, I will be doing guides for um, all of the three roles in this game. Tanks, healers, and def and uh, DPS at some point, eventually. Alright, so we're done with Wild Jackals. So I actually have not gone and... Um, 
taken any notes on rank two, and I can actually just close that. Whoops. Uh, rank two of the hunting log because I don't actually have to use it. And it's actually a lot slower to just try to complete the hunting log like as a as a means to reach level 15 as quickly as possible. Not not super efficient at all. Okay, I finished a, uh, a challenge log just there. I got some extra experience for my chocobo and... And I... Where is this last... Stu there it is. Crab. Almost done with this fate. So that should get me to level... Yeah, that'll definitely get me to level 11. Okay. Wow, this video is turning out way better than I expected it to. I am getting really lucky with these fates. And there's another one right down here. So that's... Definitely. Oh, this one's a little bit dangerous if I remember right. I gotta be careful on this one. A lot of bees spawn. A lot of pissed off bees spawn. So this is Dane. Well, there's actually a lot of other uh, NPCs attacking too, so they can take aggro. They can tank for me. Um, for this particular fate, you want to be careful not to just aggro the crap out of everything. So if you do have an AoE attack, um, maybe don't use it so much because you don't want to be yeah, you don't you don't want to be getting attacked by all of these things. Like I have two one okay one of them now. So yeah, for certain fates like this, just um, just one at a time. I'm almost level 12 already. And I've only used one potion so far. I totally didn't need 60. <laughs> ooh, ooh. I'm going to use one right there. I think what I'm going to do after this fate, um, if there is another fate that's really close by, I'm just going to just run past it because I do want to show doing um, leaves to level up. Those are also really, really good. Like, I, I prefer battle... They're called battlecraft leaves. I prefer those to any other way of leveling up because, ah, die, 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 come on, die, die, Ugh, okay, now I can mount, all right, let's go, um, because you can, you can kind of cheat at them, you can pull off some pretty substantial cheese with battlecraft leaves, and, um, I hope to show you a little bit of that, okay, so we're going next to Western La Nosea, so now, now that we're done, with our level one um, hunting log for Rogue, this is where we're going next. Because this town, oh, and there's another, there's a fate right in front of me. It's level 10. It's level, oh, Roselings are right here. Okay, let's just go ahead and kill some of these. I'm leveling up too fast. How much time left? 14 and a half minutes, ah. You know what? I'm not going to do that fate. I'm not going to do it because I really want to show off uh, leaves a bit more. And um, I did a bunch of tests before recording this video, which is why, um, which is why this video isn't coming out sooner. And what I found was, am I done with Roselings? I'm done. Okay. What I found was that actually um, the fastest, fastest way to get to level 15 is to just do leaves, only leaves. But you wind up using a whole lot of leave allowances if you just do leaves. 
We'll go here to Battlecraft leaves, and here are the level 10 leaves that I can do. I'm going to go ahead and accept all of these. So I'm, I'm doing level 10 leaves because my level is, uh, I'm not level 15 yet. So this one here is the Sprite of Competition. Go ahead and open up your journal and initiate. Okay, and what I'm going to do is pull this all the way up to get some extra experience. So what I have to do for this one, as you can see up in the top right, is just gather nine lightning sprite cores. And the way I do that is I just kill these enemies that have this little leave mark, these uh, lightning sprites. So I got two from that one. Pretty lucky. The amount that you get from these is random. Sometimes you don't get any. Um, so yeah, this this leaves of this type can take a while if you happen to get unlucky. My chocobo level up. Oh, it almost did. Almost. Oh, and here's some fat dodos I'm going to kill for some extra experience. Oh, and I got two from that one also, that lightning sprite. Wow. There's one. There's one. No. I think I have to kill three of these. Technically, what you want to do to get the most out of uh, Battlecraft leaves is to complete them as fast as humanly possible. Um, you do get extra experience uh, based on completion time, but honestly, I don't think like it's I don't think it's that super significant. I think my chocobo is about to wow three or no two, two two and two so far. I am getting lucky with with these. Wow, two, two <laughs> that is crazy good luck. Oh, and there's some sewer mold. Wow, what the heck? I did not realize, because I've only done this on um, Archer, that... Where are the other ones? Over here. There's one over here. I did not realize that the rank 2... Oh, and here's a, a treasure chest. I'm going to open this. For some useless crap. That the rank 2 rogue hunting log, like so many of the enemies were just here. Where you would be doing uh, leaves. Okay, and that's it. Done with that one. So at this point, I can go back to the NPC to turn it in to get my reward, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to just do the next one, and I'm going to get my rewards all at the same time. That is the fastest way to do uh, leaves. So for this one, I need to... Um, I need to kill these Mischief Maker Imps, and the way I do that is um, I find these lightning sprites and they're kind of hiding. They're like disguising themselves as lightning sprites. So I have to use these pollen clusters on them and that will um, take away their disguise. And then you just, I just need to kill two of these. All right, that one's done. And right here is another lightning sprite. So let's use another pollen cluster on it. Nope, no effect. So that one I don't have to kill. Uh, no. Here. I'm looking on my mini map right now. I can see this little icon tells me that there's a leave enemy. Oh, don't go too far away. Damn it, he went too far away. He dodged my pollen cluster. And there we go. Here's the second one. And that's it. Okay, next one is going to be Jackal and the Livestock. Let's go ahead and initiate that one. Let me get on my mount first, actually. Initiate. Confirm. Okay, they're all right here. Uh, I just have to kill these... Jackal pups, these guys right here. So I'm gonna try not to piss off uh, nearby enemies as I do this. 
for the most part in Final Fantasy 14, as long as you're not like right in front of uh, an enemy, like as long as you're not like directly in their line of sight, for the most part they won't see you. That doesn't apply to all enemies, but mostly that's true. See, like I'm right behind this one. And look at that. <laughs> All right, and I'm just about done with this one. Oh, he's running away. Oh, he's trying to run away. Kill him. I don't, okay. And I've got one more uh, leave to do. Don't go back. Initiate. This is the, the fourth one that I have to do here at the gates. And I just have to visit these locations and kill the enemies that spawn. Okay, so I mentioned that I could like kind of cheese um, leaves a bit, but the four that I got, I kind of can't. There is one that I really hope I get. The, the leaves that you do, um, that you can do, like you only get like four at a time when you talk to the NPC and they're random from a pool of like six or seven, I believe. Um, and one of them, you can cheese like so hard. I really hope I get I get to show you that one. This this leave is a little bit annoying um, because you have to like travel to this area and then wait for an enemy to spawn. I don't like waiting. but I don't like dying even more, so I'm gonna heal. All right. Oh, done with sewer moles. Okay, let's go to the next area. Right here and down south a bit more. Nah. Last one. And that's it. Yeah, this leave is a little bit slower than most. You have to do a little bit of waiting. So that's the four leaves done. So let's go back now. And I didn't actually level up, I don't think, while I was doing those leaves. But this, when you actually turn them in, is where all of the experience really is. I'm just turning in four of them really quick. And that almost got me one entire level from four leaves. So let's go ahead and do some more. Shock therapy, fresh meat. That sounds like all of the ones that I just did. Uh, let's do the Sprite of Competition. Confirm. Okay, I have to kill this one. So this one is, uh, again, the, um, the one where I have to, like, find the mischief. Oh, no, this is uh, just kill a bunch of lightning sprites. And two again, wow. I'm really surprised like at how much good luck I'm getting with these because um, I just did this. I just ran through this whole process yesterday um, on another character as an archer and like I spent, wow, two again. I, I was getting like none, none, zero. I did not have good luck with this same type of leave just yesterday. So this actually might be, there's a fate right here that I can do. This might be the last, um, the last set of leaves that I have to do. This might be enough to get me to 15, maybe. 
This, these leaves, and maybe a fate. Maybe one fate will do it. Three, three, and I think three so far. What the heck? Should be it. Oh, no. See, right there, I didn't get any from that one. That's more like what I'm used to. Oh, and none again. Okay. One more level to go. And there we go. There's nine. Okay, next one is shock therapy. Don't go back. Shock therapy, initiate. Uh, what is this? Oh, mischief maker imps. Okay, so I need to go kill this dude or the uh, pollen. We're going to use it on this guy here. No effect. Okay, so I'm not going to bother killing it. There we go. Here's the first one. There's another one. Nope, oh, that's a Warren Warden. So I could kill this for a little bit of extra experience, but I don't think it's really worth it. Uh, where is another? Here. Okay, let's try this one. <clears throat> you do get a little bit of extra experience, but it is a... Oh, God damn you. No, 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 no. I'm stunning this guy, and I'm going to use Pollen Cluster. Uh, okay, I did it. Cool. All right. That is one um, one little annoying thing about this area is that this this fate here that spawns all the wild dodos like you get that fate a lot and what that means is there are a bunch of like hostile enemies around you pretty much while you're doing all of these see while you're doing all of these uh, leaves. Good news, though, is that dodos are really, really, really slow. Oh, crap. Get away from me. And also, um, in this game, enemies don't stray that far away from their spawn point. So if you do get an enemy following you and it's... You want to lose it, just run away from where it originated from, and eventually it'll get too far away from that point, and it'll just go back. It'll lose, uh, it'll lose interest in you. He's going way over there. Okay, that one's done. Oh, failed. Uh, a fate. Don't care. Fresh meat. Uh. What is this? Feral Dodo, pacify it using Soothe. Okay, so would you just make sure that you always read what the leave tells you to do, because um, sometimes you don't actually want to kill the enemy. And I could, I'm actually going to. So for this one, what you want to do is get its HP really low, Pokemon, and in, in Pokemon fashion, uh, capture it with Soothe. You just do the soothe emote. And I should show where that is. I think it's low enough. Let me go ahead and soothe it. Now, ah, there you go, pacified. So when you do that though, these enemies here, these rat moles that are nearby will uh, become hostile and start attacking you. But the 
object of this leave is to just pacify these things. I don't actually have to kill those other enemies that were trying to murder me. And I should have gone back. Yeah, I should have gone back. Crap. Okay. So yeah, um, just when you're doing leaves, just do the objective and nothing else. That is the fastest way to get through it. Is this going to get me to 50? I think it is. Oh my God. It is. Okay, there we go. That's it. That's level 15. <laughs> wow, that was way faster than I was expecting. I got really lucky with le uh, with uh, fates before. Wow, and how many? What did I just do? Eight? I think I only did eight leaves. I only used eight leave allowances. And um, yeah, wow. But yeah, anyway, if you guys have any questions about anything that I did in this video, feel free to let me know down in the comments. I'd be happy to help. Um, if you like the video, please give it a like. If you want to see more of this stuff, subscribe, hit the bell, you know, all that YouTube algorithm stuff. And thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. I promised you guys cheese. So let's get cheesy. So for this, <laughs> for this leave, literally, you just have to collect uh, these dodo eggs here. There are uh, enemies that spawn and try to stop you, but it is useless. You don't have to fight them at all. Literally, you can just go from one area to the next and just collect all these eggs. And because dodos are so freaking slow, they will not catch you. Look at that. I'm already almost done and he just gave up. <laughs> Good. Okay, so there's eggs up here. The last three that I have to get are right here. So, yeah, this area is a little bit annoying because there are a bunch of enemies and this one is looking right at them. And I don't... Heavy? Do I have... Okay. I can bind this one, actually. Ooh, okay. Oh, he turned away at the last second. Okay, I was about to bind him, but he couldn't actually move. But yeah, there you go. Done with the leave. Thank <laughs> you.